Drawing after you work out or before you work out? Both. You draw before and after you work out. Drawing is like a protein shake. So how do you know when your drawing is finished? I think your drawing is finished once it matches your vision or you've done everything you can to get it as close as possible to matching your vision. So there's two things there. The first one is the vision. You might have this naturally from the beginning where your brain is filled with images, but for most of us, we have to develop that vision by looking at a lot of good art, studying masters, and developing our taste, developing our ability to make a decision of what our image should look like. And the second thing was you need to be able to execute on it. You might run out of things to do because you just don't know how to fix all the stuff in there that makes your drawing not match your vision. And so this is stuff like you got to go learn perspective, you got to go learn anatomy, or you need to learn how to shade things to make it 3D. So you need to be able to execute on the vision in order for it to be done. Otherwise you have this great vision, but then your drawing doesn't match. So you can't get it to that finished state. And if you don't get it to match your vision, then you'll never feel like it's done. You'll always feel like I need to do more. I need to fix all this stuff. So it might be done because there's not much more you can do, but it won't feel like it's done and you'll just feel sad. <laughs> but that's good. When you're studying, that's good because that's a sign that there's something you're missing and that that's the next thing you need to go and practice. So as students, we need those moments of, oh, I can't do this because I'm lacking the knowledge. Is being a photocopier bad? Uh, not necessarily. It depends on your opinions. It depends on what you want, what your goals are. If your goal is to copy photos all the time, then there's nothing wrong with that. If you enjoy it, if this is like meditation, then great, you're enjoying what you're doing. But if your goal is to work on movies and video games, then yeah, it's bad because you probably won't get hired. They're, they're not gonna hire you to copy photos. They're gonna hire you to invent things, to be creative, use your imagination. Generally, I think, yeah, it is bad to only be able to copy photos because you're not a well-rounded artist. And I think it's generally better to be a well-rounded artist where you can do many things, not just one thing. Where to start? Uh, my upcoming Drawing Fundamentals course. <laughs> Pre-sale starts soon. In the meantime, the figure drawing course is also a good one to start with. Can I improve without drawing? Well, I don't know if that's a serious question, but I'm gonna pretend it is. The quick answer to that is yes. <laughs> it's not what you were expecting. Uh, but I think yes, you can improve without drawing, but it's not my, you're not gonna become a master. The reason I'm saying yes is because I think there's more to studying and becoming a better artist than just practicing and drawing. That's a huge part of it, probably the biggest part of it. But there are other factors, right? Like you could be a decent artist, but you're not getting enough sleep. You're, you got a poor diet. And so you're just not being very creative and you just don't have any motivation to even sit down and draw. The way to improve as an artist in that situation is not to draw more. The way to improve there is to improve your lifestyle. Exercise more, get more sleep, eat better, right? And you will become a better artist by doing those things. Your body is a machine. It's not just practicing moving your hand that's required to be a good artist. It's all of those things. You need to make sure your machine is working. So yes, you could improve without drawing, but I don't recommend it you should do all of those things and draw. Opinions on political art. Um, I think that artists can create art for whatever reason they want. The visual language is a form of communication. I think pictures has been a way that humans have communicated for a very long time. And we still use pictures to communicate. And if an artist wants to communicate political opinions, they're free to do so. We don't have to agree with what they're saying. We don't have to listen to what they're saying, but they can still use their art to express political opinions. I think artists should be free to draw paint whatever they want. 
80% research and 20% drawing or the opposite? Definitely the opposite. 80% drawing, 20% research. Unless you're just starting out and you really have no idea what to do, like the first week or two or three weeks of beginning any new skill, almost all of it is gonna be research, figuring out what do I do, how do I start, right? You, you have to do a bunch of research to get some guidelines on where to begin and proceed. But then after that, it's 80% drawing forever. How? Like this. How are you able to cross the gap between an amateur and a professional artist? I don't think that there is a sharp gap where there, there's an amateur and this is a professional. I think that there's a very blurry line that could last many, many years and it did for me. I started dabbling in becoming a professional when I was a teenager. I would get commissions and I would get paid for them. And they weren't that good, like they're okay, but the person commissioning me knew I was a teenager and that I'm not, you know, they're not gonna expect a masterpiece, right? They were getting a really cheap portrait for something. So they got what they paid for. And also, you know, they were friends and stuff, so they were okay with it. But I was dabbling in being a professional because that's really what it is, right? If you're getting paid for it, you're a professional. And I think that's how you have to do it. You have to start trying to become professional way before you feel like you're ready because you'll never feel like you're ready. Like the only way to be ready to become a professional is to practice and be a professional for several years and then you'll get the hang of it. It's gonna last a few years. There's no crossing it other than try to cross it. Just be like, will anybody pay me for this? Hey, you paid me for it. I'm now kind of a professional, but not full time because I'm mostly studying, right? And that's gonna last for a while. How? Like this. Okay, that's enough of that.